Hello everyone, we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. So I am going to have a look and see what's happening. Also, if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase a private uh, reading with me, any private services, they are all listed down below. There's the private tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal. There's the uh, healing work prayers etc. It's all there. <laughs> There's also intention items which thousands of people have seen results with, which are for various areas of your life. Um, the review sections at the bottom of my website. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles, teas, etc. Okay, so let's begin. Mm, ooh, hold on a second. <laughs> this is just a bit okay there, there we go there we go there's two there oh okay so we've got past love in the past past lover and we've got union so it says here um serious relationship marriage partnership okay so um well isn't this a very strong situation altogether? It's, it's very obvious that we're reading on a past person. It's very obvious here to me that what I feel is that there is going to be some communication that comes your way from a past lover and a past person, which signifies that they will want to be with you. That's really what I'm seeing here. I feel like there are some realizations. I feel like they've definitely thought about things with you. I also feel here very strongly that what they are going to say to you is going to be very unexpected. So let's have a look and see what they're going to say to you. Did I did I not just say exactly what just came out on this card, right? A past person coming towards you, unexpected communication, literally shows them coming back. So yeah, what's happening here is that they're going to come back. It's, it's really obvious. I mean, those two cards came out and I was like, okay, you know, past love to union is literally them coming back, right? It's reconciliation, reunion, um, and the two of you talking about uh, differences, resolving differences um, and misunderstandings. Do you have to be with them? No, 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 you don't, right? So I think that's really important is it's your choice whether you want to be with them, you don't have to. Um, but I do see them returning and wanting another chance, another opportunity with you. Okay, so let's see what this unexpected communication is all about. Oh, hold on a second. I just put the deck on, um, on the other decks that I have on the side and this one was actually up, upright, you know, <laughs> so take that one as well. Okay. So we've got here, I am scared to let my guard down. So the unexpected communication is the fact that, you know, when they come to you, you might think to yourself, oh my God, they want to be with me. They want to live their life with me. Like they want to, they're going to express their feelings to me. Um, yeah, to a degree, but it's still going to be unexpected because you will find that they talk more so about their fears, right? Their reservations, their fears, their challenges, the obstacles, the things that they are not so comfortable with. So that's what I'm trying to say is that a lot of you might think to yourself, oh my God, past person wants reunion. They want to reconcile. We're going to talk about our differences. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. They're going to propose to me. You know, I'd say hold your horses just a little bit. The reason for that is because yes, they will come back, but the first initial conversation the two of you will have is, is this, okay? I'm scared to let my guard down. They will tell you that they have fears. They will tell you that they have these reservations. And that's why you can feel that it's unexpected because some of you might literally have the expectation that they're going to come to you and literally express everything to you and they're going to want to live with you and marry you on the same conversation, okay? Marry you in the same conversation. So let's just slow things down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, they will tell you that they hate how much pain they've caused you, but, okay, and here's the but, they will also say to you, I'm scared, you know, I'm scared to let my guard down. I, I've, you know, I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. So they will quite literally tell you a lot of their fears and insecurities and struggles. And at the same time, they will tell you, you know, I really do like you. I do care about you. I do want to make things work with you, but I am still scared. So that can kind of make you feel like, hmm, Okay, what does that mean? Well, what it basically means is that they need time, okay? They need time to get to the next level, which is actually committing and being much more proactive and consistent towards you. Can they get there? Yes, but you know, that 
initial conversation that the two of you have is not necessarily going to be perfect. It will be good to the point where you'll know that they still care about you and they still want to make things work with you, but it will be a lot about themselves in the sense that yes, they still have those struggles, they still have those issues, they still have those problems, they still have things they need to work on basically. Okay, so that's what we have there. I feel like it's not the most, there we go. I'm trying to make it as, uh, let's say, symmetrical as possible. Let's go with tarot. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, okay. They're <laughs> just like all flipping over. Okay. Um, full. Okay, there you go. They'll come to you. By the way, full is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is one of the most, well, it's one of the most, oh gosh, how do I even describe Uranus? Abrupt. Okay, sudden, very spontaneous. It's one of those planets, okay? Think about someone that's so spontaneous, you can never figure them out, you know? You can never understand what is happening. That's how the communication comes to you. It's very unexpected. Um, you won't even really be thinking about it at the time. So if you're constantly thinking about this person 24-7, let me just tell you, it's going to happen when you're not constantly thinking about this person 24-7. That's just really important to keep in mind. Um, and then... They will just come to you. Um, they have been looking at your social media quite a bit and they do see you as someone who is so kind, so mature. You've got yourself together. You know who you are emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. They, they feel like you are just stronger, okay? You may not feel like you are stronger, but remember how people see you and how you see yourself can be very, you know, like two very different things. So they see you as stronger, which, you know, is I think quite important to like, you know, keep in mind in the grand scheme of things. Hierophant, <laughs> Hierophant, look at the Hierophant, um, strong Taurus energy, yes they can be stubborn, okay, this person can be a little bit stubborn, um, they have their own issues, they have their own challenges, but yeah, they still like you, I think that's another thing as well, is that they still really like you, and they will want to tell you, you know what, I really like how kind, caring, genuine you are, very strong Taurus energy by the way, because you've got Earth, which is Taurus, you've literally got the Taurus energy here, and by the way, Taurus is ruled by Uranus, hello, so there's a very strong Taurus energy, and you know what Taurus is all about, it's all about commitment, however, Taurus is one of the slowest moving zodiac signs, it's a fixed sign, and it's also known to be very stubborn, so do you see what we have happening here with what I mentioned to you, is that they will come to you, you know, with wanting to work on things, and telling you like, oh, you know, I really I do like you and I do care about you, but they will still be slow and they will still be stubborn to the point where they want to do things their own way. And I think that's just another thing to keep in mind um, because your expectation when they come to you might be, oh my God, they're like totally ready. Like it's all going to be amazing. I would say, let's just slow things down a little bit. Let's just calm, calm things down a little bit because they're not fully, 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 fully ready. Okay. Are, but they're not like that initial conversation will not be one of being completely ready right so two of pentacles page of cups three of wands nine of pentacles four of swords the knight of wands i just left i just left the knight there at that time i think the main thing here is that they have so much attraction towards you, you know, they they have never really doubted you, I think they've mainly just doubted themselves and their own issues, right, they have doubted um, past, past situations that didn't work out, the, the situation with, you know, the two of you as well in the past, like, that is something that really, you know, it, it upset them, they didn't feel very happy, they didn't feel very good, um, they didn't feel very content with things, because of their own issues and their own challenges and their own struggles not because of you but because of them so i think that's another important thing to keep in mind um your affirmation here is come to me and the reason for that is really because well they've got to come to you right and i don't think that it serves you going to them and trying to make everything happen with them that's not really like the purpose that's not going to make you happy it's not going to give you the fulfillment and the joy that you want like they have to come to you obviously you know um so that's your affirmation you can comment it down below if it resonates with you three of wands shows that yes they still need more time okay so even when you have this conversation they will still need some time to get themselves together. You know, this will be the initial testing the waters conversation where they will want to see if you're still open to getting to know them or whether you're going to reject them. I will just say that if you reject them in this conversation, they will close up a bit more. And 
that's the thing, you know, is that some of you may feel like, oh, but they treated me so badly, they need to chase me even harder. Mm, playing that game's not going to work so well, um, and I don't really recommend it either, because, you know, at the end of the day, if you want this person, but then you're still closed off to them in that sense, then yeah, you know, they can kind of take that as rejection. So when this conversation happens, it's best just to have a very balanced conversation, nothing too heavily or excessively emotional, uh, probably not wise to scream at them and yell at them regardless of how they've made you feel in the past, because that also indicates that healing needs to happen on your side as well, that's really important, and they got to prove themselves to you, so you know, why, why excessively do so much in that sense as well okay so that's what i'm seeing here unexpected communication will come it probably won't be in the way that you want it to um yes they still like you yes they still care about you but they still need time and that is what we have here okay so this is your reading now of course if this resonates with you or if you claim it don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below for information on personal services rereading giveaway intention items and of course my um everything you know is listed down below i'll see you all very soon and take care everyone i also have tiktok and instagram everything's listed down below for your convenience and i'll see you yeah very soon bye everyone